Seventeen long years I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. I go to some hollow. If the whiskey don't kill me, then I don't know what will. And away we go. Gonna check it. <laughs> check. Check, check. Check, check. <laughs> the check's in the mail. Okay, welcome. Hello. Welcome to the dispensary tour. It's a show love here, episode 004. We doing it. We doing it. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we've just we've survived the holidays. Happy New Year, Wendy. Happy New Year, show. Welcome back. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. What you got here? Oh, uh, the bubble hash. <laughs> oh my goodness, the bubble hash. This is from Farmer Tom. Yeah, that was from Farmer Tom down in Vancouver. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. Hang on. My hands are full. So, um, happy new decade, everyone. How's everyone doing out there? Please excuse me while I take some <laughs> while Ooh, we that's indulge. Tasty. Yeah. Lovely <clears throat> bubble hash. <laughs> <laughs> I know it leaves that taste on the tongue. It's so just nice. so good. People yep. so, this hash is one thing that you kind of have to you kind of have to know what you're doing. Mhm. And have a good strain. Have a good strain. Have a good strain. That's no garbage in, garbage out. Mm. That bullshit's bullshit. Because mm-hmm. hash will tell on you. Yep, hash will totally <laughs> tell on you. <laughs> and bubble hash will snitch you out in a heartbeat because if it don't bubble. Mm. Nope. Bubble hash. Yep. I love it. So, well, yeah, so happy new year. This is 2020. We made it. Yeah. New decade. New year, new rule. My dad used to always say after every year, I guess I guess he's still saying it. I have to give him a call and see if he's <laughs> <laughs> Daddy he's still saying that shit. Said when I was a kid. New year, new rule. I never knew what the fuck he was. <laughs> it's like what rule? <laughs> Waiting for a new rule to come yeah. at you. <laughs> Same old rules. He's always he used to also say, um, uh he was the boss with the hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, Dad, if you got, okay. <laughs> Waiting for some hot sauce to come out of his pocket. <laughs> like, he has all of these, like, little sayings. I don't really know if he says these anymore. Oh, those are great. <laughs> those are great. He's, he has, like, dad sayings. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, holidays are great. You spend time with your family. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, my sister came up from Portland, which was nice. Mm. I ain't seen her. And I heard she brought her mother. I haven't seen her mother mm. in over 10 years. Mm-hmm. And I uh, had a nice dinner with uh, my husband, my mm. kids, my <laughs> sister and her family. So, yeah, it was wonderful. I spent it yep. alone. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> it's how I spend most holidays. Hey. It's like, you know, I'm usually like just in my robe or naked. Oh, there you go. And I usually eat a lot and drink a lot and smoke a lot. And, you know, watch a nap. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're a party in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds actually it is good. like really fucking awesome i bet and the holidays are my favorite time because i get to stay my tree's still up i see Beautiful i actually a little tree i actually put my tree up like christmas eve <laughs> <laughs> i think i did mine like christmas eve i have a little tiny six inch little oh, tree it's the tiniest little sweet. table tree yeah I'm much in a fifth wheel but i do have a tree yeah that's oh, true. My yep. my best friend, he was like, um, you're like cutting it close, aren't you? <laughs> well, I don't have to worry about Santa coming here. I was definitely yeah. naughty last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm going to ruin a bunch of little dreams here, but you know, I'm on vacation. I'm not Santa no more. Yeah. <laughs> Santa was dead. I was, I was, Santa was probably naughty too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was naughty. Santa was naughty. Yeah. We were on the naughty list. So... <clears throat> I have I um I wanted to say just thank you to Tom from Top Shelf. Oh yes. Uh that nice little shot glass of love. Yeah, he sent us right before the holidays. It was like a nice little um treat for the stocking. He sent us a sample of his rubber dub shot. 
Oh. It's called an overdub shot. 500 milligram of hemp derived CBD. Nice. And it is, I mean, honestly, it is. It's this, clear. It's the thing that I've been waiting for. We'll put a picture up and we're also going to hold a contest for one of our listeners and one of our followers of the Smith's Free Tour so that they can win. I don't know what the contest is, but I want to share that goodness in that little jar. You definitely want to. Uh get this so thank you tom from top shelf for sending a sample of your a uh, couple of samples actually of your uh, top shelf rubber dub um 500 milligram hemp derived cbd the reason i love this yeah product this is something <clears throat> that i have been wanting for so long because it is clean it is it's just like it looks like water it looks like water it is so clean and so um not it's like not greasy at all yeah not not greasy no i put that stuff on and it didn't even leave a film or anything it was nice it's so absorbent and it's and it and it's made with just uh, it's mct which is um uh, i think this is from uh um coconuts but you can also get mct i think from another plant i can't really um you can yeah look that up Mm -hmm. i looked it up a few days ago but you know that was yeah it goes in so much has happened (laughs) since then yeah, a lot's happening. But I love this product because, you know, like I I was a massage therapist for a million years a lifetime ago. <clears throat> and I've I've rubbed like thousands of bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple body parts. We won't go into details about that. Yeah. <laughs> but I have been I was a body worker and I have I it was so hard for me to touch to try you know to find like the oil that wasn't greasy that you, it was absorbent and people that was sort of universal that pe- that everyone could you know um sort of accept because you know everyone's different people people don't like certain things on their skin yeah. and this is the thing that I've been looking for for like 20 years. That's the thing I know my husband's been looking for because he hates that greasy feeling he gets on his skin. It just yeah. sits in it. Everything he touches afterwards Most is guys slickery. do. Yeah. <clears throat> especially guys who, I know, especially guys who um, have been mechanics, you know, mechanic like who work with oil and, yep. you know, that stuff. Like they don't want to put, like, A put slick. that on their bodies when they've been working on it. Um, yep. Working with it for so, for so much. So this is great for... Male, female, um, and the reason, another reason I like is because you can actually blend it, make your own blend. You can actually, because it's It's, no scent, no nothing, you can add your own, like I'm going to add my own like scent, lavender, my essential oils. I'm going to mix it with other oils and spells. you can infuse it into a lot of stuff. It's versatile. Very versatile. I'm really happy about this. Um, I hope it comes in the pipe. <laughs> they have, <laughs> no, like, they, yeah, they have no it, like these little sh- shot glasses. That's exactly but, what it looks like, too. A little clear <laughs> shot glass with a clear shot of Patron. Yeah, a little clear shot. But I, I, want, it in, I want it in pint with a pump. <laughs> that would be better. That I want a pint be with awesome. a pump. Hey, did you guys hear that? Hello. This is what I want. But it's so good. You could just, it, you, you put in any container that you want with any other blends. And it seems like you should probably be able to eat that as well. Yes. It's in, it involves, I looked it up, it involves extracting and isolating the MCTs from coconut or palm kernel oil. Palm kernel oil. So, right. yeah, you could actually probably take that and put it into some edibles. Food grade. Yep. That's that. I can see that happening. Yeah, I can see that happening. I can see some really nummy banana bread Ooh, on the way. Banana bread. That's my favorite. We'll have to make some banana bread yep. one of these days. I got a mini loaf pan, so you can make numerous little mini banana bread loaves. Ooh, oh, my favorite Old banana pan. bread. Um, little cupcakes. Ooh, <laughs> I got Twinkie pan too. Ooh, Twinkie. Twink- <laughs> 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 well, I think we're on to something. Yeah, we're going to have to have a bake off. So thank you, Top Shelf. Uh, we'll share their information. And um, like like I said, I'm going to um, do a little contest. Because I'm going to share this goodness. I yeah. like sharing goodness. Yeah, sharing goodness is like, isn't that what we're supposed to do in this industry? And, yeah, and the dispensary tour, we're here to share goodness. Yes. So we're going to find a way to um, 
get this get a sample of this yeah. to the people. Get some goodness out there. Rub it all over yourself. Yeah, let's do that. So what else is up? We have <clears throat> it's a new decade. Yes. Do you have any new resolutions for the decade? Uh huh. Make it better than the last one. <laughs> Indeed. I've planned, uh, my plans are to learn, I'm going to learn um, poker. Oh. And I'm going to learn chess. Oh, I tried to learn chess. What happened? <laughs> I didn't compute very well. Mm. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do really well at this. I, I, um, I, I've had an affinity for these uh, strategy. Yes. I can understand that. I'm I'm really into strategy, so I think um, you know just to keep those wheels sharpened, yep. and uh, those brain cells growing. <laughs> well, yeah, you got to be pretty strategic out here on the streets. <clears throat> mm, ain't that true, sister? <laughs> <laughs> it's hot out here for a yep, pimp. It definitely- <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hot out here for a pimp. So yeah, that's my 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 resolutions. I'm going to learn some uh, strategy games. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, and I might you know I might just I might join a gym or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even going to try and do that. I figure I'll get enough exercise at uh, the new job. Oh yeah, you want to tell people about the new job? Yeah, we <laughs> think we should tell. <laughs> them. We got the band back together. Yep. The band is back together. <laughs> I'm employed. Well, yep, we're employed. Yeah, <laughs> in the cannabis we are industry. Once again, in the <laughs> once cannabis again. industry, months and months. Of- I'm taking a huge pay cut to to join this industry, but you know it's going to be yep. worth it. Yeah, it's worth every bit of it. Um, the summer slows down for film and television anyway. I need something to like, you know, fall yep. back on. And so this would be a good time to see if this is something that you know is for me. Um, I'm excited about the company that we're working for. We're not going to tell you guys what. No, nope. no. Nope. <clears throat> so I got hired first. Can we tell them what happened? You yep. tell them what happened. Yep. You go ahead. Start it up. Yep. Okay. So I got hired to one of the biggest companies, <laughs> biggest <laughs> cannabis companies in Washington State. I'm not going to tell you who. Yep. But they're yep. huge. <laughs> <laughs> Let's repeat that. Huge. <laughs> so and then you know there and it was like awesome i'm working hard and doing my thing and (laughs) all of a sudden it's like yeah you can you can invite your friends i'm like what it's like i've never heard of such a thing i can invite friends shoot the last place i looked at they wouldn't hire people if they were your friends (sighs) so i sent in your resume right i said hey wendy what on my way from work i was like hey wendy (laughs) yep i was texting and driving (laughs) yep (laughs) <laughs> talk texting and driving. I was talk texting and driving. Yeah. Hands free. Yeah, hands free. We got this. We're legit. We're legit. Too legit to quit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way too legit. And I said, Winnie, I need your resume. No, actually, I, I called you and left you a message. Oh, yes, you did. Because I was in, I was doing some shit up mm-hmm. in the little bedroom mm-hmm. area and I could hear like my phone was ringing, but mm-hmm. I didn't realize my phone was ringing. And I was like, girl, you better yep. send me your resume. <laughs> yep. I got that message. I was like, shit. <laughs> Okay, I got to find this email. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> got that shit sent and, over immediately. And what happened immediately? Uh, Well, what was funny is I got called. Well, yeah, I'd left one job interview. And on my way leaving a job interview, uh, I got a phone call. And I normally don't answer the phone if I don't know the number while mm-hmm. I'm driving. Understandable. And, uh, <laughs> And plus the Bluetooth wasn't on all that happy shit horse. So mm. anyways, I answer the phone and all I hear is this broken up speech while I'm driving down the road. And the only words <laughs> I catch were show and resume. <laughs> and I was like, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Let me pull over. Let me pull over and take this Hell call. Yeah. <laughs> so I pulled over and I took the call and she was like, I'd like to see you either today or tomorrow. And I was like, well, today is great because I'm halfway there. Right. And... I would say from the time I took that phone call to the time I was hired was probably three hours. That's amazing. My background check cleared in less than 15 minutes. I had a wonderful time with the the lady who did yeah, the interview. And lovely. she spoke, of course, highly of show. Oh, did yeah. she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh she's so sweet. <laughs> you know, so I am definitely looking forward to yeah. starting my first day there on Monday as being part of a... It's going to be miraculous. A growing team. We're there for a reason. We're there oh, yeah. with a purpose. Oh, yeah. And 
this is going to be beneficial for yeah. everyone involved. <laughs> exactly. It's love and light, people. Just love and light. You know when you know where you're sp- where you're when you're where you're supposed to be. Yep. When you feel like okay. Most definitely. You can make a difference here. Yep. And they're so sweet. Oh. I can't wait till we tell you can tell you guys. <laughs> we yep. for, maybe we can uh get the bosses to come do our show. I don't yeah. Know. We'll see what goes well, on yeah. in the future eventually. I gotta get my first paycheck first. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanna make friends. I wanna make friends first. Yeah. We won't be too pushy. <laughs> no. Um, so what else is going on? Oh, you know, we I was posting this thing. Uh, the other day on Facebook about Chicago. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pull it up, and this is gonna segue us into something else. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Wendy. I always check with Wendy first. I try to check with her. Okay, do you mind me talking about this? <laughs> do you, you know, I'm just like let her rip. Let these her are, rip. These opinions are my own, and I don't want her to get caught up because I know there are some people out there in the industry that. Um, that are listening to us, that want to acknowledge that they're listening to us because of fear of uh, repercussions of other people is like, oh, we don't want to, we don't want to yep. support them because somebody may hurt, get their feelings hurt, and then be exercise. Shit trickling downhill. I'm, I can speak for myself. I'm just beyond that. Yeah. M- what I create in my life isn't dependent on someone outside of me. Um, I'm not depend. I'm not. Um, Beholden to anyone else, and to the degree that I, I'm, I'm going to allow that to uh, block my freedom of speech. You ain't going to be bullied. <laughs> I ain't going to be bullied. No, I'm not going to live in fear nope. of of losing anything, a job or anything. No, uh, because someone may get their feelings hurt. Um, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Like, here's a fucking Kleenex. It's Grow just, the fuck up. It's okay. Because you know, I've you know, I'm an I'm an entrepreneur. I've 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 owned businesses. You know, I've I have so many skills I could fall back on. Like I'm yeah. never in a fear of not going to be able to make money. Yep, exactly. So one industry or one job, it doesn't define who I am. Hell no. For me, that's and that's, it shouldn't. And it shouldn't. And it's the freedom that I've created for myself over the years for that for that reason. I don't want to be in fear of being afraid to to, to speak my mind and to, and to tell people the truth and to say, hey, this is wonderful or this is great or this yeah. is... A, someone has to be in that position. Because it's not all shitty. It's you know, not Speaking shitty. the truth ain't just all about shit. It's... It's to help. It's, yeah. to, it's, to, it's to help this whatever to evolve, yep. to, to progress. You know, it's it's a very loving... It's, it's coming from a very loving place. Yeah. <laughs> it's not coming from a dark place, people. <clears throat> ain't nothing dark about... Well, there's no. a few things dark, but y'all don't need to go there. <laughs> I don't need to know about those. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good I shit in that hat. <laughs> that jazz is good. I'm going to light this now. This is, um, oh, what did, I went to, I got some uh, Blue Roots. This is. Uh, I love Blue Roots. This is purple. Oh. Mm-hmm. Take a hit of that, oh, girl. Snap. Mm-hmm. Got Here's one. a lighter. Oh, you got one? Yeah, I've got one sitting <clears throat> Yeah. Put that purple on top of that hash, and <laughs> we'll oh. be all right. And I'm, I'm sipping on a little wine, just so y'all know. <laughs> Ooh, that's tasty. Winnie's a sober one. She's just, uh, she's got some ginger I, ale. Yeah, I got the bubbles. I'm jacked up on she's the bubbles. She's driving. She's driving. Ginger ale and bubble hash. I got it. She's a DD designated driver. Yeah, I can get as stoned as I want. <laughs> so um, it's a good thing I live just down the road. Yeah, you just live. Yeah, yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah. I just it's autopilot like, it. I can throw a stone at your house. Pretty much. If the wind don't blow it away. <laughs> it's a little windy tonight. Yeah, it is really windy tonight. <coughs> so what were we talking about? Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> oh, truth in industry. Oh, truth and in Oh, you're it. Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, most of you know, uh, maybe you don't know, I lived in Chicago for seven years. I love Chicago. Um, it is definitely... My kind of town, like for real, for real. Um, the food, the music. Oh my god, I bet you the food. Uh, oh, the I blues. would just travel the world to eat. Oh, yeah. Chicago's is big on blues and jazz. That would be There's awesome. A lot of music there. Um, a lot of talent. Um, I was heavily into the music industry when I was there. Um, 
Met a lot of wonderful people. That's where I met Brad, the photographer who shared okay. his photos with us. Um, he was coming across my Insta earlier. Oh, yay. Yeah. Another musician who I'm going to share a song with, um, um, he, Robert Andrews, he has a song called Moonshiner. He just gave me permission that I could use for, for these things. Um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> we're gonna nice. get, <clears throat> so a lot of influence from Chicago is Sweet. coming through this thing. So I love Chicago. So when I saw the post yesterday, um, there was a... a Facebook post and I'm looking it up. It says Smile Chicago Weed is now legal. Congratulations. Yep, another one on board. <laughs> another one on board. And <clears throat> I'm happy because <laughs> now when I go to Chicago, I don't have to call my ex boyfriends for <laughs> Hey, <laughs> that's a fucking plus side, right? So we <laughs> even though they're lovely, I yeah. love I love my ex boyfriends in Chicago. But now you get a choice. One in particular. Choices. Yeah. Choices. Yeah, and, and and I always felt bad calling him up. You yeah. know, it's like I'm in town again. What if he weed? still have feelings? And what if he thinks I'm just calling him for weed? Yeah, you know? <laughs> exactly. It's like, can we just talk to talk yeah. then? Yeah. yeah, he's a good guy, and I don't want to think I'm using him. So now I can just go buy my own weed and call him when I want to. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you want a smoke a bowl? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I owe him a lot of bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Cody was the wealth. He's the wealthy uh, options trader that I dated for a long time. He ca- he taught me a lot about economics. Oh, he's nice! Very, he's a fucking genius. He went to Berkeley in California. He went to Berkeley uh, University. So super smart. <sighs> kind of intimidating. Well, he was. I mean, he's super smart. I mean, he was like depressed that he didn't make it into Stanford. Like he didn't get. <laughs> like he was sad. If you could like, see my face right now. <laughs> I'm like, dude, <laughs> shit. And 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 the and the reason he probably didn't get into Stanford because he was just fucking stoner. <laughs> yeah, they were probably like, no, nah, this fucking pothead. He needs to go to Berkeley. But but he went to Berkeley and yeah. he just a fucking genius. And so um, he taught me a lot about economics while I was living in Chicago. Mm-hmm. He's the guy I call for weed, or I used to call. Now I don't have to, because uh-huh. Chicago yep. is illegal. And in their first um day. Uh huh. Of being legal. Opening day. Dun, dun, dun. Opening day, they raked in three point two million dollars. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's a lot. So fucking right on Chicago. Congratulations, yeah, Chicago. Yeah, congratulations. I mean, shit, this should be legal everywhere. I hope you put that to good use. And, yeah. And and I believe it's the governor, the new governor of Chicago, which. I'm not really sure who that is. I mean, the last time I lived in Chicago, it was some, the guy, he's like in prison right now, serving. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so I really Well, never so he's pay. where he belongs. <laughs> Chicago has notoriously been known for corruption. <laughs> and it's basically in, in gov- uh, governor's seat. Yeah. But um, he, when... Uh, uh, cannabis became legal in Illinois. He expunged um, people's um, records. Records, yeah. Really? I don't. I forgot the number of people that he just just wiped their records, but I th- it was quite a lot. And I think he's going to continue to do that. Anyone with a record um, with marijuana, he's just wiping it clean. It should be that way in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. So I know he, he, I know that <laughs> Chicago's not the first place that's doing that, but I'm glad to see. Yeah. Um, because that whole war on drugs. It's getting ridiculous, people. I yeah. mean, that so it was, it was going on in the '80s when I was in middle school, and it was right? a money maker by the damn government anyway. Say no to drugs. Remember yeah. Nancy Reagan? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I knew a family that their own child turned them in really? after a dare. Uh, oh. A dare assembly at the house. The kid went up and talked to him because they had freaked him out so bad. And all oh, his parents did was so smoke horrible. pot. They lost their kid, their livelihoods, wow. and everything. And they actually didn't even do it in front of them. They used to hide in the bedroom. I remember yeah. seeing him go off into the bedroom and get stoned. Well, then, yeah. yeah. My parents smoked pot. Yeah. And they my parents did, I mean, they pot. never did it in front of us. Yeah. Well, <clears> my, my parents dad, didn't. My dad knew. But I knew that they were smoking. I mean, it yeah. smelled. I mean, it was aromatic. Yeah. <laughs> I never minded the smell. It smelled better than beautiful. cigarettes. Yeah. I loved it. I loved the smell. Yeah. Um, they also smoked cigarettes, and I preferred the smell yep. of cannabis as a child to yep, the exactly. cigarettes. And um, um, I remember, um, I think I was in middle school, and I remember they had a contest 
<clears throat> at school that we were doing art and I was really good at art. I was really good at winning. <laughs> 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 so we, they had this art contest and it was, you know, do like a, you know, say no to drugs type thing. Okay. And I drew this picture of this guy with a joint hanging out of his mouth <laughs> on top of the planet. You know, I drew the planet. Yeah. And it's just like this guy with like bloodshot eyes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and it said, it said, and the the tagline, and this is me, like in middle school, like this is me, like with my oh tagline. My God, <laughs> this is no. how genius I was. Right? <laughs> uh, the tagline was "Taking drugs is a dead end world." <laughs> <laughs> with this guy on top of the planet oh with the market. Okay, so I won first place. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I fucking won this contest. And now look, and I know <laughs> you got dead in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy lied to me. Nancy yeah. Reagan lied. She lied. She lied to, they lied to I forgive her. Many people. I forgive yeah. Nancy. But this but this poster that I won, like first place, um, I brought it home and I put it on my parents' door. Oh boy. Like the bedroom door yeah. was like taking drugs. So they had to see this. <laughs> I was such a bitch as a child. They were like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look, mom, I won. So I I'm won. Like, They're like, we need Great. to get stoned. <laughs> yeah, let's go get high. Let's go get high. Forget this kid. <laughs> this little fucking punk ass kid. <laughs> Bet you they're looking at you now. They're gonna hear this now and be like, show. I know. Okay, sorry, really? mom and dad. I mm. see. I didn't turn you in though. So <laughs> yeah, no. Could have turned you in a lot of shit. Well, <laughs> they were they were lining up kids, waiting for kids to be <sighs> snitching off their parents. They would ask I didn't specific snitch. things. I didn't you know? snitch. Do you smell a funny smell coming from your parents' room at any time? It's like that's none of your fucking business. Snitches get stitches, <laughs> you know. And how dare you go up to children? Yeah, you know you that ploy- was lame. Yeah, you started this ploy on children. <sighs> yeah, so Nancy Reagan, we forgive you. I forgive you, lady. Mm-hmm. And my parents. As I have my right to hit my vaporizer, <laughs> you are forgiven. That was so long ago. It's like the eighties, man. We were so brainwashed and yeah. and and being manipulated. Yeah, it was a huge manipulation. Yep, huge. For what? To break up families, tear tear them apart. Yeah, they wanted to sell more alcohol. I didn't so. rat on my family. No, they knew that. Yep. No. Well, <laughs> well, maybe passive aggressively I did. You had a talking to by by winning that contest. Yeah, I got so. I know they're like, where does she get that creativity? <laughs> what is she, what was her inspiration? <laughs> Who was your muse? <laughs> my mom and my daddy. <laughs> Love my mama and my daddy. <laughs> well, I don't know what would have happened if they weren't smoking weed. I mean that you know. They were dealing with a lot of stuff, so yeah. I'm glad they were enjoying themselves. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely worse things parents uh, can do. For I certain. tell you what, I'm so glad they were smoking weed. Yep. Um, and okay, so so back to the post. <laughs> I know we go on these little <laughs> tangents. It's so awesome. <clears throat> but back to the post, and I'm glad we're laughing because I'm I'm about to not be laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Who? She was hot, oh, y'all, when I got here. My goodness, Lord Jesus! I'm and I don't try, blame her. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to be. I really don't blame her. I really try to like, <clears throat> you know, keep my cool and be I fair. Might take one of these headphone things off. Yeah, you're gonna take one <laughs> off. Is it too much? No. I know. <laughs> she might be going off. No, hey, okay. So on Facebook. On my personal page, my personal yeah. page, Which, not even business. Come on, people. These are personal fucking pages. And, and you know, you can't get to my personal page unless I invite you. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> and that's for a motherfucking reason. <laughs> um, so on my personal page, I got Smile Chicago Weed is Legal. And I'm happy. I'm in my in a good, happy space because yeah. one of my towns. I remember seeing it come across my feed and I was like, oh, good on her because I know she's proud of that. So an o- one of the owners of a, a local cannabis con- company. Mm-hmm. Let me wet my lips. Took, <laughs> took it upon himself <laughs> to comment. And <clears throat> just, just to like set the stage. Mm-hmm. This guy constantly whines about how much uh, revenue his cannabis company <clears throat> generates for the state of Washington. And he consistently <laughs> whines yep. about the taxes he has to pay on this revenue. 
<clears throat> and that his company, oh, oh, we generated $3 million in the cannabis industry and the government stealing. Sounds like life is fucking okay. tough. <laughs> so I just want, I'm just going to read you what he's posted under this thing. And, this, and we're leading up to something, folks. So please stay with me on this. Yep. <laughs> just, you stay. Go, just just feel it out. And I want to back I want to back up a little bit, too, and, and, and state um, about the concept of businesses keeping their personality out of their yes. company. Yep. And I learned this uh, many years ago. I went to a... Um, uh, sort of like a, a black caucus business thing. There was there was Maya Angelou, there was Barack Obama, there was Magic Johnson. There was a lot of. It was before Barack was president. He was senator still. He was talking about businesses and you know. And Magic Johnson was there, and he was he impressed me the most. He was wow. the most uh, you know um, c- connecting the down most, to earth, down more to earth. human. Yeah, walking around the crowd, looking you in your eye. That's cool. That's respectable. <sighs> Yeah, he was smart, and he and he and he told us how he became one of the first and only people to own um, Starbucks stores. He was the first, huh. and he told us the story of how he did that, and it's an amazing story. And maybe we'll share that one day. But um, <clears throat> he also pointed out the importance of not putting your personality in your business, and that stuck with me because I had a business at the time in Chicago. I had a um, a wellness center that I was uh, operating from. I was a massage therapist. So I was, you know, wellness and we had products and retail. I was selling topicals and chairs and, you know, everything that um, <clears throat> could sustain a, a, a business, a wellness business. I don't know. And um, so, you know, I was, <clears throat> I was learning. Yeah. I wanted to know how to grow. I wanted to know what, you know, what Keep mistakes. a business running? Yeah. So Magic Johnson says, don't put your personality in. And that stuck with me because my personality was all over my business. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Which oh. is probably hard for when she she got a booming personality. So that's going to be all over what you right. do anyway. Right. But, but and with that said, I have to pick, pick the right industry yes. to where that will work. Yep. Which is entertainment. I went into film and television. I went into. So or your personality. I is- left. Yeah. Yeah. I learned my fucking lesson. I left the wellness and all that stuff and I went to entertainment. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking entertaining. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I got a big motherfucking personality. It's huge. (laughs) Yep. I feel you. So, you know. Yep. You're the same. Yep. I got a huge mouth. That's why I'm here. (laughs) So, so I was like, okay, it's that stuck with me. And and I've and I've 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 observed other businesses. It's like keeping it professional. I've observed other businesses, ones who succeed and one who ones who fail, and ones who fail tend to be the companies that their personality is all in it. Yeah, like mine did. Mine failed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a great lesson. And it's just an honesty thing. It's cost, an honesty. It's yeah. a learning lesson. Yeah, yeah. It cost me a lot of money to learn that lesson. Mm-hmm. And you grew, and I grew, and and it's something that I try to avoid. Yeah, um, for my business and and other businesses that are operating that way. Yeah. So, <clears throat> back to this post of Sh- Small Chicago Weed is Legal on my Facebook, my personal Facebook page. Yep. Okay, but well, I'm trying to chill. So take some Facebook etiquette <laughs> lessons, people, and connect with my own people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to share good information. Okay. Yep. So this. This youngin, <laughs> <laughs> this child, he doesn't even own the company. The company I'm talking about is Evergrow. Evergrow used mm-hmm. to be one of my favorite companies. I mean, we've actually, what did we talk about him on episode one, episode yep, two? Exactly. I believe it was episode one. I even talked about the forbidden fruit because I fucking love that one. You love yeah. that one. Yep. I'm a little disturbed about what happened for certain. So that was my last forbidden fruit, last apple I'll fucking eat. Yeah. Mine too of Evergrows. So yep. <clears throat> the the uh, subsequent owner, I don't even know his his parents own it. His dad yeah. and his, but he says that he's own it. He owns it. Mm-hmm. So he comes on this post and he says, if if only the taxes stolen from those businesses were kept in the hands of the owners, that way they could pay employee <laughs> wages they deserve <laughs> instead of the government stealing it. <laughs> We're blaming your <laughs> shitty wages on the fucking government. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Please stop you it. You choose to pay them shitty. Okay. So first of all, okay, and this is my response. And you know, I was trying to be sort of uh 
objective and open minded and have a yeah. and have a discourse. Have a, co- have a conversation. Have a conversation. Yeah. Tell him what I know, ask him what he knows. Yeah. <laughs> have you know. some intellectual banter back and forth, maybe. And I said, <laughs> I said I said, Adam, his name's Adam Rudder. Mm-hmm. I said, Adam, the owners would pocket the money, you know this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> good idea in theory. Yeah, good idea in theory. It's been tried. Yeah. It was tried in nineteen forty one. <laughs> it's tried in 1988 Oy. and in 1988 it caused a huge deficit that sweet dick Billy had to come and fix Yep, <laughs> you know say what you wanted to about sweet dick sweet dick Billy <laughs> <laughs> but he but. sure damn fixed that uh, that deficit that the quote unquote trickle down effect called they also called it uh, back, I think back in the 40s like in, in the 40s they called it um what do they call it? They call it the the horse and sparrow theory. Because what the, the fuck? okay, let me tell you, <laughs> the horse and sparrow theory was that if you feed the horse the seed, he will shit it out and feed the sparrow. Oh, go fuck yourself! <laughs> what kind of shit is that? <laughs> this is a real thing. Go look oh it up. Oh my god! Go look it up. This is the theory that they were. What tra- rich motherfucker came up with that <laughs> shit? That's like giving people the black bread because it was made with dirt and shit. Look, Fuck, no, this is a real thing. <laughs> oh no! <clears throat> so I said, look, the trickle down, and this is all, all on Facebook. I mean, I'm reading it. And he goes, and, you know, his things that, you know, his next response is definitely not true. Definitely, he says definitely not true, even though uh, there's facts and figures of yeah. historical. It's a fucking huge probability that the money is going to stay in the fucking owner's pockets. We all know that. It's definitely it's not, not true. It's yeah, been, it's, it's been, been proven, proven yep. over and over again. It's also been proven that when you uh, reduce the taxes to the poor, to the workers, that they put it back into the economy quicker than the t- the top. 10% would. Yep. So if you if you give the reduction to the to the to the poor or to the working class, yep. that's where you will find a change a, in your a change economy. in the economy, not by doing it the opposite. What yeah. is what what he's saying? He was like, "Oh, we could just keep let us keep the money." Yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> it's not going to work. And so I tr- you know, I was trying to give him a little historical facts because, you know, like I said, I studied economics a little bit i had to study economics i yeah. had to not be the, the dumb girlfriend so i submerged myself in economics for years and i know how you are when you submerge yourself you ain't even joking you went to school you taught <laughs> yourself cool and i had clients that i had to i had clients that were working on hedge fund managers working for huge banks like rothschilds so i had to learn their language i had to understand what they were doing on a day-to-day basis yeah. when they came to me for like, you know, consulting or whatever, I had to understand what the fuck they were talking about. <laughs> so I studied. I'm not a genius in economics. No, but you ain't stupid. But I studied it. Yeah. You know, so I, I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Just yeah. To, you know, enough yeah. enough to the, respond to this guy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I study and I and I've studied the markets and what you know states that are that have been legal like what they're doing with the taxes. Like I pay attention to that shit, yeah. you know, because it does matter to me. Yeah. Um <clears throat> for historical purposes, you know. Exactly. And so I you know, I said Adam Colorado has done a great job putting the tax revenue to good use. They they've invested in their their education. Yes, everything. They their health. Yep. They've invested in the homeless. They're starting to like, you know, put it into like the the um <clears throat> the least among them yes they're starting to put it back into the economy exactly what um uh economists have said would work for the economy is like giving it to the least of you right because yep. we will put it back immediately immediately <laughs> we're consumers yeah. right like yep. the least the people the workers are the most consuming yeah like the, the elite they, they consume but they they consume bigger ticket items that aren't as um beneficial to the whole when, bigger when picture. they're when they're pur- purchased you yep. know um not like you know day-to-day going to the store or buying gas or you know like the yeah. basic common things those are value are valued more in the uh, than a fucking yacht or a mansion or <sighs> i'm getting heated <laughs> <laughs> i feel it coming I'm starting to sweat <laughs> I feel it coming. okay so so <laughs> So I tried to tell, you know, tell say this to this guy, right? Yeah. The the quote unquote owner of Evergrow. 
He's yep. on my page, my post. Who be making how much money again? Off he the- said that his company, hold on. Oh, well, this is the next book. He said, that's very sad. You don't think taxes are stealing. Over $3 million was created in taxes from my company. Over In taxes. Are you fucking hold shit? On. In taxes. $3 million in taxes. So not <laughs> so how much the motherfucker make he whining so, about? So three million, he's whining about three million in taxes. So I, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, first of all, you're talking about being in an industry where people have lost their livelihood yep. and people will give their right arm to make to to make to it, be in there to, for fuck's to, sake to build fuck to to break even. Yeah, and you're fucking whining about making three million in taxes money. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can suck a big fat beanie dick on that one because no. <laughs> so this is what this is the thing that got me uh, kind of like okay I'm done with Evergrow I'm done with Evergrow because first of all you don't put your personality in the business yep. I shouldn't even know nope and and this had been months of me like seeing posts of his uh, talking about how government stealing government stealing government stealing I'm like fine okay whatever he can have his own beliefs yeah but when you show that you're ungrateful oh god yeah to the fact that you have a company in an industry that's hard to even get into yep. and you're making $3 million in tax Taxes. revenue. <laughs> yeah. Say thank you, fucker. And you're whining? Yeah, no. You whining, you little bitch? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ain't here no shit here. No. You say fucking thank you. Okay, so, I mean, I, that didn't even get me upset. No. What got me upset is that I, I was like, okay. I wasn't even upset yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was still trying to be like, okay, well, look. He was like, okay, kid, you're stupid. It's okay. You young. <clears throat> okay, he said that's very sad. And each company should have, uh, each company could double their pay wage. And I could have my own house <laughs> rather oh. than living with my parents. Oh, go fuck when yourself. I, when I save up and build credit, and anyone who thinks taxes are okay doesn't understand economics. <laughs> Wait till you can't pay your bills, motherfucker, and you got to get rid of everything you, know you fucking own and live in a goddamn fifth wheel for a fucking year. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up with your privilege problems because the rest of us are shacking up to get the bills paid too, honey, and we sure the fuck didn't get so, $3 million in taxes. So this is, this is the quote-unquote owner of Evergrow. He claims himself <laughs> to be an owner of Evergrow, right? Yep. A brand that I loved. Yeah. I totally loved the owner of Evergrow. Which is the dad, right? Yeah, I love the dad. He's an awesome human yeah. being. Yeah. Um, I met the son-in-law. I forgot his name. Yeah, the only he one. He has the mustache. The, I think he, he came to the dispensary before you got there. Aha. Uh-huh. He was real sweet. I didn't know his political views. Nope, I didn't know the dads either. I don't, I don't care. I don't, yeah, don't care. I don't care. I, I don't care what party you belong to, but what I do care is whether or not you're grateful for the fucking shit that you got in your fucking life yep. and you're not out fucking whining about <laughs> having to pay fucking taxes on a fucking uh, a company that's fucking thriving in an industry that people are fucking dying to get into and people have lost their livelihood to fucking get into and you're fucking whining okay good night to fucking ever grow <laughs> night night bitches <laughs> I'm done with that yeah. I'm done with it Yeah. I cannot support a company who has a whiny little bitch like that <laughs> complaining yep. about making money. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to complain about making money real quick. I'm going to slap you in the fucking face with my tiny dick while I fucking <laughs> bitch about the money I make. Don't whine about making money. You yeah. know, I'm grateful. There was a point in time, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, my, my, my uh, experience of homelessness. You know, I was homeless for a while. Oh. And there were times, I mean, you know, I was working and homeless. It wasn't like I wasn't working. So yeah. I had money. I had money. You know, I had gas in my car. And, I, you know, my phone bill kept, you know, I kept yeah. my bills, you know, whatever. I was, you know, kind of in a transitional period to where I was looking for my spot. So, you know, it, it behooved me to, like, be homeless. Yeah. For a period of time. I knew it wasn't going to last long, right? Yeah. But there were moments I was like, you know, I'm so grateful to be able to have money to put gas in my car so i could be warm at night yeah while exactly. i fucking slept <laughs> you didn't have your parents' house i was grateful to have money to pay my fucking phone bill so i can have my phone on to, to just in to, case of a fucking emergency or a job you know if i was 
waiting for a job interview or something. That someone's yep. calling me for a fucking job. Or I needed to run to a friend's house to take a shower or fucking do my fucking laundry. Yep. I was grateful to have that. Yep. I was grateful to, to have the job, the fucking shitty ass. <laughs> yep, the shitty, <laughs> the ass, shitty ass wages we get it in the The shitty dis- ass job that I had. That I wasn't making three million dollars with. <laughs> no fuck no. We paid a lot of taxes though. <laughs> I pay my fucking taxes, bitch. Yep. I don't know why this little punk ass bitch thinks he doesn't need to fucking pay taxes, but you know what? He's getting less of my money. Yep. He's getting zero of my money. Zero of my money. From now until the end of time, until they stay open, yep. until they stay in business. Which, with that attitude, I don't even know how you're going to stay in business because, like Mike, Mike. Uh, Magic Johnson said, when you put your fucking personality in your business, people won't want to do business with you. Yep. And that's exactly what just fucking happened. Yep. So anyway, good night to Evergreen. Yep. <laughs> I'm all heated. Yep. Um, and, and, you know, I'm sorry to the actual owners of Evergreen, yeah. his mommy and daddy. Yeah. <laughs> because... Um, they should have told their son shut his mouth. You shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. And this is a guy, you know. And don't was, treat people like shit on their own page. Jesus yeah, Christ. This is a guy. I was actually like just a week or two ago. I was actually like, you know, sitting in support. He was stressing out. He put it like a, you know, a, a post up that was kind of, you know, concerning. Yeah. So I sent him a, a message. I was like, hey, dude, you okay? Um, make some suggestions, you know, try out some meditation, hope you feel better, you know, yeah. try to support him, be a friend. Be a friend. Yeah. And that's the shit you get in return. Weeks later, he, he, he blocked me folks. I, I didn't, I don't even think I said that. No, we had, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so you didn't get to finish a conversation with me. So, so my, so my, so my question after he said, if you don't know, if you don't think taxes is stealing, you think then you don't know economics. So I I, I um, proceeded to prove that I knew economics, yep. <laughs> and I asked him a couple of questions. I said, "Well, did you go to public school or private school?" Yep. I said, um, "Public schools are tax money." Yep. Do you drive on roads and bridges? <laughs> yep. That tax money goes to something. Do you did did you how did you get to work today? Did you drive there? How did mm-hmm. you do that? Because all of those didn't, how did you think they got there? And I asked these questions. In, this, in the same post, the bitch blocked me. <laughs> He's like, I'm done with you. The bitch blocked me. <laughs> That's when I lost my shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, what? You can't hang up on me. Because when I started making fucking sense. Yep. That's when he ran like a little fucking pumpkin chicken. Yep. Quit your whining. Your whining ain't going to work here. You little punk. You know, you need to grow. You, this guy, Adam Rutter, grow up. You know, he should know dealing with cannabis. Use that shit. Grow up. Yeah, grow up. That's all I got to say to you. That's the best advice my dad ever gave me. My dad, <laughs> I was whining about something. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> this was not too long ago. <laughs> he didn't tell you he's the boss with the hot sauce? <laughs> no. He tried to throw me out of his house, but it didn't work. <laughs> I was whining about something. And I was like, man, nah, being a little bratty little bitch about wanting about something that happened in my childhood yeah he just looks at me he goes you need to grow up <laughs> oh just, just straight up and i was like what wait a minute <laughs> that's not what i was expecting yep but then i was like you know what i do need to fucking grow up yeah just let it go you gotta yep. you're and I, you know my dad's really good at giving advice that you don't want to hear mm-hmm and I was like, yeah, I need to grow up. Now and, and, and now I'm giving that advice to Adam Rudder yep. of Ever Grow. Grow up. Grow up. And, you know, be okay with paying taxes. And I know, I kind of know, what he, there's a theory out there that says that it, it's a constitutional law. Um, I'm not a constitutional lawyer. I don't know the details, but I do know that there is um, uh, a theory out there that that, uh, that uh, taxes taken from uh, earned wages is considered by constitutional law is considered illegal. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. I get that. Yeah. Right? We all get that. We all know that. And and on top of that, I also know that I forgot when it was like 20, 2010 or 20, some, some 20, 2009, somewhere around there, that's when the corporations, remember when the corporations were, uh, I think they trying to pass a law, they passed a law where they want it to be seen as a person. 
oh the, my. the corporations wanted to be seen as a person because of that constitutional law. If they were a person, they couldn't get taxed like the rest of oh us. Oh, my, for fuck's sake. So I, I understand, you know, his... Uh, his kind of an idea? Not really the bitch in the wine, but what it boils... I can, well, it, it's 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 bits and bits and pieces. Like his yeah. his thoughts aren't fully developed. They, it doesn't have he doesn't have full information. Yeah. Um. Um, yep. Clearly. Clearly. Um. It's it's on ta- it's on taxes on earned income earned income meaning labor. Yeah. Strictly exactly. labor. Labor. You're not supposed to tax laborers. Yeah. Uh, your workers. Your constitutionally, employees. you're not supposed to tax. Uh, laborers and and I and I know that law and I know that constitutional, but Evergrow is not a person. No, it's a company. It's a company. Yeah. And these companies that try to get out of fucking paying their fucking taxes, you know, they and put money in. They put money in, like you know, Swiss accounts. You know, I, yep. I used to work with hedge fund managers. I know all this shit. They hide yeah. shit. You know, yep. it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, we're not stupid. <laughs> we're not stupid. Yeah. But clearly, Adam Rudder is. <laughs> you need to go back. To, yeah, to you this. yourself didn't pay that shit. Your your parents' company did. Yeah, and it's the company that's getting taxed, not your parents individually. They should be under that company as an employee. If they're not under their un, un, in their own company as an employee, they need a, a different tax guy. They yep. need a diff, They need a different CPA. They need to talk <laughs> to somebody else to do their fucking taxes because it's not being done properly. If you're having this all these conniption fits about your fucking taxes. You need a new tax person. <laughs> Just, yep. You need someone who understands constitutional law. All right. Don't so anyway, be- so he blocked me on, you know, Facebook, but I blocked him on the dispensary tour. Yep. And Evergrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Evergrow. Good night Bye-bye. to Evergrow. In film and TV, when a, when a, a character, uh, an actor, finishes for the night or the scene or for the day, or if they're done for the rest, the rest of the shooting of the project, we say good night to them. <laughs> <laughs> good night. <laughs> That's perfect. That is perfect. So good night, Evergrow. Yep. We night. won't be smoking you no more. No, nope, there's plenty of other weeds out there. Plenty of other weeds. Plenty. I'm smoking. Um, what is this? Blue Roots right Blue now. Roots. It's just good. It's pretty good. It's the UW Purple. It's pretty good. Yeah, I that's like a the good UW one. Purple. So, all right, Wendy, anything else you want to talk about, lady? What are we doing? Anything are we else? Doing? <laughs> Do uh, we have any? I don't think so. I th- did. Wait a minute. We gave a shout out to Top Shelf. We're gonna yep. we're gonna do a little contest. Yeah, we'll do the contest. Where someone will will win uh, one ounce Bubba Dub, and we'll get that up. We'll get that up and going. But uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm looking at my notes Yay. going. I think we made it. We made it again. Huh? Yeah, woo woo. We made it again. We made it again. Got Episode it. 004. Happy dance. Happy dance. <laughs> you could only see my old ass now. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna um we have some guests lining up. Yes, we do. Uh yes, we the do. holidays sort of put us behind, but we got some guests lining up. But we gotta we gotta work it around our work schedule now. We're working I know. We're, we're work we're working hard for the money. Yep. Way. So hard for it, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started singing Working 9 to 5 yeah, What no. a way to wake a living I'm more of the 2 to 10 <laughs> <laughs> You got the night shift Yep, that's better for me anyway yeah. shit. I like the mornings yeah. I Get out and get up No well, one's I, out Yeah, I'll be enjoying that drive at 10 o'clock at mm-hmm. night Just going, yep, just me and the deer it's going to be nice. Yeah. It's a nice drive. It's a beautiful I'm drive. I'm very happy for you. Congratulations on no, your job. thank you. <laughs> well, hey, man, I show you got my foot in the door, so thank you. <laughs> That's all you need. Yep. Think and grow rich. Get your foot in the door. Yep. Napoleon Hill. I recommend that book for everyone. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It, it shows you how to reach the top by just getting your foot in the door. Yep. It's very inspiring, motivational. Grab cool. yourself a copy. I'll get you, have, you, have you read that book? No, I have not read that book. Uh, we'll have to talk about that. Okay. We'll have to do a, that's that could be ah, our book review or something. There we go. Aha. <laughs> Got some more shit to talk about. We're gonna motivate you guys to think and grow rich. Yeah. So we thank you, Canna Fam. Yes. We love you. And uh adore you. Yep. And uh we thank the heavens for you. 
And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yep. Take care. Take care. Ciao. I go to some barroom Drink with all of my friends Where the women they can't follow And see what I spend God bless those pretty women I don't know